Hi everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and today I'll be talking to you about the differences between the Slingbox Pro HD, which came out back in September of 2008, as well as the Slingbox 500, which came out a little over four years later in October of 2012. So I'll be showing you the physical differences between the two units as well as the differences between the ports on the back of each Slingbox. Now first, temperatures. I noticed that the Slingbox 500 doesn't get nearly as warm as the Pro HD. Sometimes the Pro HD would get sort of uncomfortably hot. So here we are taking a look at the front of both units and you can see that the 500 is ever so slightly shorter than the Pro HD, at least in the two corners where they're elevated because of the difference in design in the 500. The 500 is also not as long as the Pro HD. Now here we are taking a look at the side and you can see that the 500 is just a little bit shorter and it's also not as wide. So overall, the 500 is noticeably smaller than the Pro HD and it also weighs less. So this might be important depending on where you place your sling box. Here we are taking a look at the back of the Pro HD. Now there is a USB port, but you're not able to do anything with it. There are also no video, or excuse me, there's no S video ports, SPDIF, or coaxial ins and outs on the 500. I guess because those things simply aren't used very much by existing customers. Here we are taking a look at the 500 and you can see that we do have a USB port. This is used for media playback and we also have HDMI inputs and outputs. So that's nice depending on which types of devices that you'd like to plug in to the Slingbox 500. So now let's take a look at the video differences between the Slingbox 500 and the Slingbox Pro HD. So this is from the 500 and this is from the Pro HD and you can see that the colors aren't as bright and the text and images just aren't as clear as the 500. So here's the 500 yet again. And here is the Pro HD. So the resolution on the Slingbox 500 is slightly higher than that of the Pro HD, which gives you more crisp, clear text and images. Here is the Pro HD now. And for the last comparison, here is the Slingbox 500. And here is the Slingbox Pro HD. So overall, picture quality from the 500 is definitely a lot better and I'll be talking to you more about the video quality later in my full Slingbox 500 review. That's it with this video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that is it with this video, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all very soon.